Hello everybody, I'm Brayden from EG4, and I'm here today to talk to you about the version update to our lifetime lithium battery series, the EG4LL V2. We believe the EG4LL battery series is the best cost of value market solution available today to homeowners and installers alike. Our batteries have a Texas-based and supported 10-year warranty, a cell life of up to 7,000 or more deep cycles, and a design that fits nicely into our modular professional cabinet system so that you can keep maintenance, repair, and code compliance easy when designing an off-grid system. Our batteries also have 5 kilowatt hours of stored power each, so you can select the voltage that's right for your application without having a series. The version 2 release is the next generation step in our top-end server rack battery line. We took a lot of feedback from you guys and tried to add features and capabilities where we could. The version 2 platform includes some new key features, such as selectable onboard communications with numerous inverter manufacturers that use either RS-45 or CAN protocols, a 3.5 inch touchscreen display that has easy cell readout and information accessibility, and it comes with built-in fire resistors for tough countermeasure in bad locations. We also have some voltage-specific features added with the release of the V2 batteries. For the 48 volt, we have UL9540A compliance, as well as support for up to 64 pack addresses for large closed-loop battery bank systems that are over 300 kilowatt hours. For the 24 volt systems, we also added the support for up to 64 pack addresses, so you can have another large closed-loop battery bank. And then for the 12 volt, we added Bluetooth monitoring with your phone to support mobile applications where the battery is not easy to access, specific protocols for Victron communications, and the highest amperage BMS we have ever released, capable of powering more than 220 amps for 30 seconds or more than 380 amps for 3 seconds. Both the 12 and 24 volt batteries are undergoing UL9540 a tests to demonstrate maximum quality components are always being used to keep our users safe. So for the 12 volt battery specifically, we only have the Victron protocol as of now, but if you ever needed to change it, you want to make sure that all of your dip switches are down, power the battery on, it'll take just a moment to boot up. Once it's active, you want to hold the back button for about five seconds. Let go, and you'll access the protocol settings. So for Victron, you'd go down, go in, you select the Victron, of course, then you can back out. Then you want to make sure your battery's off, that you have the dip switch is set to down, 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 up. You want to power your battery back on, and that will set it as the master battery for the Victron protocol communication. And with the proper CAN cable, you will be communicating your V2 battery to the Victron system. So here we have the EG4LL 12 volt battery, one, hooked up to the Victron MultiPlus 3 kVA 12 volt inverter. So what we're going to do here is try to pull a 15 amp circular saw startup off the 12 volts BMS and notice that it has no issues with starting up that motor load. But now, let's say we have two going on. We won't be able to start up both at the same time, but now, we're able to have both motor loads going at the same time without affecting the battery's BMS negatively. And in fact, the battery's continuous output has been improved dramatically that is capable of powering two heaters at max capacity, which is even more than what this inverter can handle right now. As you can see, the inverter is going into overload, and it'll soon short the battery using the BMS as a protective software. The inverter might even trip beforehand. Let's see. Currently, we're pulling about 300 amps from both heaters, which is equivalent to about 3,600, 3,700 watts. We see the inverter still beeping in overload. Now it can handle this for a pretty significant amount of time. And we see now the battery is going into alarm as it has now reached its threshold and is tripped. But that's a pretty substantial power draw. In fact, that is probably the most substantial power draw that you'll see a 12 volt battery be able to output. So let's get this back. Let's 
going to go through a startup sequence again because uh, it's in alarm mode. Let's see here. Turn it off, turn it back on. And with the Victron Servo GX started back up, we can see that the EG4LL even has communications with the Victron system so that you can actually see the battery's information right on the unit. I'm Braden from EG4. Thank you for watching.